Hello, my people. Welcome to my channel. If today is your first time connecting to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Click on that red button below and also click on bell icon for notification purpose. So that anytime we upload videos like this, you will get to know about it. If you are one of my returning subscribers, I want to say a big thank you to you. But if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Click on that red button below and also click on bell icon for notification purpose. So that anytime we upload videos like this, you'll be the first to know. Like I always say in all my videos, the Bible says if you have faith, you can tell the mountain to move and it will move. This might not be physical mountain. This could be spiritual mountain. But whatsoever you are going through right now, that is your mountain. And you know what? With faith, you will conquer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I have another very special spiritual guide for you today. And I want you to follow me step by step. Step by step. This spiritual guide is not for everybody. It's for those people that have been running ether scatter, that devil did not allow them to live, that some enemy are trailing their life, that they are having a, a kind of sign, a sign that they are going to die very soon. Those are the people that this video is concerned. And I want you to follow me step by step once again. So what you are going to get from me, get a clean water inside a clean cup like this. A clean water. There's something inside I'm going to tell you. Get this water. When you get it, then go and get male stone. There's female stone. Female stone, they are the stone that are... They are somehow soft. You can break them easily. But male stone, they are very strong. It's very, it's very difficult to break them into pieces. So this is my own. You get a clean water. Then you, get, you try to find a male stone. It might not be up to this size. Just find it and wash it very well. Put it inside the cup and put water. Fill it to this, to, to this end here. So what you are going to do with it, you are going to read Psalm 51 for forgiveness. Read Psalm 51 for forgiveness, then read Psalm 41. Read Psalm 41 again. After reading it into that water, then leave it there. When it is 11.45, 11 11.45. The reason why I ask you to wake up around 11.45 is because of a kind of transition. You know, we are moving from one day to another day. Wake up at that time and use that water to wash your head. You don't need to put water. Just wish it to wash your head. That as, as this stone is very difficult to break, I will be very difficult to break for my enemy. I will be very difficult to break for my enemy. That is how you are going to be praying. That all they are, all everything they are trying, to, they are planning against you. It will go back to them. That the Lord will give you boldness from heaven. That you will be bold enough to face your enemy, and they will not be able to conquer you. That as as many people that are wishing you death. It shall be their portion. As many people that want premature for you shall be their portion. That is how you are going to be praying. Then you are going to use that water to wash your head. Just use more out of the water. Then the remaining one, use it to bath. And you are going to see the wonders of the almighty God. That is what we have for you today. Thank you for always coming to this channel to pick up one or two things. May God bless you. May God bless your husband. You will not go down in Jesus' name. Till we meet tomorrow again for another spiritual guide. May God bless you. Bye for now. I remain Mr. Mike Orokumilola. Bye for now.